say it gets easier every time you get up here, but I think they're telling a the tale because <laughs> it's still it's still pretty rough. Y'all hear that? Got sent home from school one day with a shiner on my eye. Fighting was against the rules and it didn't matter why. When dad got home, I told that story just like I rehearsed. And stood there on those trembling knees and waited for the worst. He said, let me tell you a secret about a father's love. A secret that my daddy said was just between us. He said, daddies don't just love their children every now and then. It's a love without end, amen. When I became a father in the spring of 81, there was no doubt that stubborn boy was just like my father's son. When I thought my patience had been tested till the end, I took my daddy's secret and I passed it on to him. He said, let me tell you a secret about a father's love, a secret that my daddy said was just between us. He said, daddies don't just love their children every now and then. It's a love without end, amen. Last night I dreamed I died and stood outside those pearly gates. But suddenly I realized there must be some mistake. If they knew half the things I've done, they'll never let me in. And somewhere from the other side, I heard those words again. He said, Well, today is a very important day and a very exciting day. And I'm glad you're here to enjoy the excitement and have a good time as we worship and spend time with the Lord together this morning. And on your outline... <laughs> on your outline, you'll find a verse in Hebrews chapter 12, of verses 1 and 2. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Let's bow together for prayer. Our Heavenly Father, thanks so much for a beautiful day. And we come to church today, we come excited about what you're doing. 